Hey shooters! Outside my shop, but getting ready to head out to Efreda, Washington to shoot a steel match. What am I going to do there? Well, I'm going to shoot an out of the box and to the match gun review of this cool gun, the Keltec CP33. What makes it 33? Well, the mags are 22 long rifle and they hold 32 rounds. You put one in the chamber, you got 33 rounds on tap of 22. As you can see, there's a pair of uh, rounds on the left side and a pair of rounds on the right side, although it is one continuous mag feeding to a single column in the, in the center. Very interesting design. Uh, I have shot the gun, so it's not directly out of the box. Uh, I should have zeroed it, but I didn't. I just function fired it with a couple different kinds of ammo to make sure I had ammo that the gun would run with. And in just a couple of mags, I have two mags. I shot both mags twice with about 20 rounds each. Uh, and then I shot it once with one of the mags uh, with uh, all 32 rounds in it just to verify function with the Federal Auto Match ammunition, and it ran just fine with that. So I'm hoping for the same thing today. It runs just fine, but you know, buzzer goes off at a match. Uh, you know, either your brain doesn't work or the gun doesn't work. You just never know. Anyways, the CP33 from Keltec. I think it's a very interesting design. It feels really good in the hand. I like the trigger. It uh, comes in just under three pounds, uh, two and three quarter pounds, somewhere in there, which is very impressive. I like how, that, how it looks, I like how it feels, uh, I imagine it's going to shoot well. If it shoots nearly as good as the PMR-30 that I have, I'll be very pleased because I really like accurate guns and accurate 22s. Uh, the only kind of 22s you should have. They should run all the time with the ammo they like and they should be accurate. And this one uh, should be easy to extract the accuracy with the great trigger. Uh, it is got a big old what else, you know, eight and a half inch sight radius, it's got fiber optic sights front and rear, fully adjustable. It is a really neat little piece. So let's get out to the range and go under the range officer's command, load this thing up, and go smack some steel. Or at least ping some steel, because it is only a 22. See you guys on the range. Bye for now. Please load in. Make ready. Yay! Caltech CP33. Why is it 33? Because it's got a 32 round quad stack mag and one in the chamber, which I won't put in. I'll just load the 32 round mag, which if I can't complete five strings, well, I may not complete five strings of fire on that many rounds. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Shouldn't need to. I've had really good luck with my Keltex, so let's see how this works out. Shooter ready. You bet. Stand by. Two point nine zero. Why am I going to check the mag? I, it's a habit. I check the mag, but this mag also is very form-fitting to the grip. It doesn't fall out. It doesn't. You have a heel release. It shouldn't be a speed loader because it holds thirty-three rounds. What kind of speed loading are we doing? Stand by. Uh oh, miss. 2.65 with a miss. I guess that's going to be my throwaway run. Stand by. Three point five seven. My, uh, I think I told you on the intro that uh, I had pre-shot to make sure the ammo would work, but I didn't pre-zero. But it's probably close enough. It's just me. Stand by. Two point seven six. Two, One, two, seven, yeah, I got six rounds. Do I chance it? No, I don't. That's how I'm at right now. Uh-oh, got a malfunction. What do we got? There's a round right there. See if it comes, see if it clears easy. And it does. Another one. That's one of the deals you gotta make, you know, if you've got a gun that jams every once in a while, how is it easy is it to clear? That easy. 24.13. So I don't get to throw away the one with the mix, do I? That's Thank it. you, sir. I'll leave it locked back because I'm going to play with As you guys know, I always show the first five and the last five, and I show you every malfunction. So we had two. Box is yours. Load and make ready. Thank you, sir. And to be fair, the only one of the two mags has been loaded enough times to break in on my little Keltec. So I'm going to start with that and then finish with the mag that's partially loaded because right in the breaking procedure it says four or five loadings to 20 to 25 rounds before the mag will start working like it's supposed to. So malfunctions may have been my fault, we'll see. Shooter ready. Mm -hmm. Stand by. 
Two, eight, six. Two, eight, six. Hammering the trigger, not watching sights. Shooter ready. Stand by. There it is. 201. 201. I'll try the other order. Shooter ready. Stand by. 266. 266. Oh, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Take the magazine out and it's still got a whole stage worth of ammo left in it. Shooter ready. Stand by. 183. 183. Last run. Shooter ready. Stand by. 248. 248. Pickup's like a madman. Clear. <laughs> Just throw this out is working. Load and make ready. Bill took CP33. It's getting to be a really fun gun to shoot. That's my least favorite stage, Smoke and Hope. Where you can go out of control and you just get out of control. I don't need to get more out of control. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. 219. 219. Shooter ready. Stand by. There it is. 292. 292. Just point and pull the trigger, buddy. Don't worry about it. Shooter ready. Stand by. Ah! 272. 272. I'm checking the mag and it's nearly half full. Shooter ready. Stand by. Two nine seven. Two nine seven. I had one good run. Last can't, run. Can't seem to follow it up. Let's try again. Last string. Shooter ready. Stand by. Two seven four. Two seven four. Hey. Not an excuse and not a reason. I'm used to having fiber optic up front and black out in the back, so I just look for that. It's got orange in the rear, which should be, you know, dissimilar enough. I shouldn't have a problem with it, but I just see a whole bunch of color in front of me, and it's like, I don't know what to look at. And that's not an excuse, and it's not a reason. It's just uh, my temporary uh, 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 thinking for why I'm not shooting very well. Oh, you thought I was going to say suck. Box is yours, shooter. Load and make ready. Thank you, sir. Kill tick. It's unusual looking, but it's really fun to shoot. And uh, that's what it's all about for me. No, it's not. It's about winning. Stopping my... No, it's not. It's just about having a good time. Shooter's ready? You bet. Stand by. Three, five, nine. I can pull the trigger. I just don't hit much. Try the other way. Shooter ready. Stand by. Ready. Yep. Stand by. Four zero four. I'm not looking at the sights at all. <laughs> Shooter ready. Stand by. Three four three. Not at all. No fault of the so gun. rounds, you don't need the sight. Exactly, just keep down the trigger, eventually hit something. Shooter ready. You bet. Stand by. <laughs> Two, seven, one. Am I done? Was that it? That's it, sorry. It's all right. That's it. Clear. It is a really neat little pistol. Last strings of fire with the Keltec P CP 33. Last chance of glory, as they say. Now oh, come on, Pat. Nice and smooth, buddy. Just nice and smooth. This Garrett kid's gonna kick your butt. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. How much? How much do this thing actually shoots? 
Perfect. Eyeball. Right it on. shoots perfectly! I shot him in the eyeball! Nine, three, four. There is no excuse! God, I want an excuse. I hate sucking. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. 205. 205. More like it. More like it. Shooter ready. Stand by. 181. Shooter ready. Stand by. 170. Why am I keep checking? Because I got seven in there. I'm not shooting seven Last this time. Last string. Last string shooter. Shooter ready. Stand by. <laughs> 297. You had eight. I had seven in the mag. One in the chamber. You're clear. It is a really cool gun. Once the magazine breaks in, it's easy to load it and runs just fine. You know, the concerns are that this is a big departure in magazine design, especially for a rimfire. In fact, it's the only rimfire like that, I'm pretty sure. Something in my memory bank says I saw an Ian McCullum video, Lost Weapons or Forgotten Weapons, about some kind of Steyr or something way back when it had a quad stack mag. Fantastic, Keltec. Thank you very much. What an awesome little 22. Hey shooters, we're finishing up the out of the box into the match gun review of the Caltech CP33. Very simply put, I like this gun a lot. In fact, I think I'm going to fall in love with it because it is really fun to shoot. I love the fact that it holds 33 rounds. You can just get on the throttle, have some fun, and continue to get on the throttle. Uh, I mean, if, if there was jackrabbits about and I was a jackrabbit hunter, the fact that you can you know follow one of those guys through the desert and get on it and you know four or five, five six shots, you're on it no matter where it is. It's kind of fun. I could see how that would be really joyful. Um, but for me, I like to compete. I like to plank. More than anything else, I really like to plank. I'm a, just a dude that shoots. I got in this whole thing from just shooting out in the California desert and having fun. Fun? Yes. This is fun packaged in, in black plastic and, and steel and some aluminum. Solid little pistol. Very accurate. Sub-inch with ammo it likes. Easily under two with everything I put through it. Two and three quarter pound trigger. Uh, very usable. I really think you put a red dot on this thing and you could use it at Camp Perry. I mean, I've never been to Camp Perry, so I'm not talking about my, I'm talking about my butt here, but I am a uh, master class bullseye shooter and I'm also a member of the 2600 Club, so I know a little bit about shooting bullseye guns rather well. Uh, I could pilot this thing just fine. It is very accurate, reliable, and fun to shoot. And it holds 32 rounds. What's not to like about having more ammo unless you're swimming? Anyways, guys. The CP33 from Caltech is a winner in my book. It runs great. It is great. The takedown is simple. One button slide off the top, pull off the, the bolt, clean the breech face, put it back together, a little bit of oil, and your 22 is back on the road again. Really sano setup. Really nice setup. I love the innovation out of Caltech. I've got, you know, several, uh, they're one of the bullpup uh, shotguns coming. I wanted it superstition. I've got one of the bullpup 308s in the safe. Uh, the PMR30. I have the PMR30 carbine, which I'll be writing an article on for Guns America. They're cool. They think out of the box. I dig their, their stuff they make. Thanks a lot, Chad Enos, for getting this gun in my hands, buddy. I really appreciate it. We talked at SHOT Show, and I was like, oh, I want to shoot one of these in Steel Challenge. Uh, and speaking of Steel Challenge, I try to shoot these guns twice through any event I go to, and I do a disservice to myself and the tool if I only shoot them through the, the event once. And it was a five-stage match. I shot this once through the match, so 125 rounds minimum, and I shot another gun that was very dissimilar to this one through the match. Uh, and that one I'm going to put some more rounds through because it, it deserves uh, more time behind it. And this one I'm just going to shoot the heck out of for the duration because this is fun. Fun is where it's at. This gun is fun. So, guys, if you can, please, I really appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, share, patronize Savage and Federal. Federal Automatic ran beautifully through this gun. 
Uh, Burrs for your optics. Fast Fire 3 would be perfectly on, at home on this thing. You know, Red Hill Tactical for holsters. Uh, Hunter, eight, go, Hunter's Gold HD. These 59 year old eyes are able to see better than they've seen in five years just by going to the high quality optics and, and uh, prescription lenses cut by the guys at Hunter's Gold HD. Love that stuff. I'm not sponsored by them. I, uh, I just really like what they do to allow me to shoot as I get to be more gray. So if you have a prescription or if you don't, if you just want to see better, if you want better contrast, you want uh, glasses that work to fit you, you don't fit them, try out Hunter's Gold HD. Guys, I really appreciate your time. Again, like, subscribe, and share, and check out everything else I have to offer and a few more offerings coming later this year on my channel here on YouTube. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now.